convention. This is our seventh annual event. Uh, we've got a lot of great stuff going on today. Um, right behind me actually is uh, the graffiti wall that's being done by Keaton's. That's new this year. As you can see, it's really awesome. Uh, the kids have really been filling up that whole canvas. Um, you can't see, but uh, behind us, we've actually got a lot of uh, cool, other cool art projects. Our theme this year is actually art and color. So we've really incorporated a lot of that out here today. And uh, in a couple hours, we're gonna have Cosplay Runway, which is one of our super popular um, elements of the event. We've got elements of Japan inside. We've got Star Wars, R2-D2, all kinds of vendors and crafters and artists. So it's a lot of fun. We've got behind me a cellophane wall set up for the kids to spray paint. I think it's important to drive kids to the library because in modern times people can tend to do their research on their own whereas they don't utilize the, the resources of what the library has. I think more and more as, as libraries would reinvent themselves to, to be able to stay current and stay uh, top of mind, I think that's important to be relevant always and, and whether that's 3D printers or just different mediums uh, that people can express, I think it's important to always stay relevant and we do that at Keaton's a lot and throughout the years we've introduced art classes and our art supplies even and just reinventing ourselves always we're actually dedicating a, a full brand new art studio at Keaton's where we give instruction we've been doing classes for about 10 years but now we'll be have it we will have a state-of-the-art art studio where like we'll be giving full-on instruction and being able to do really anything there so it's always important it's important to stay relevant, it's always important to be innovative and to just be, keep top of mind, keep fresh. lots of art and sell it. Um, we have lots of posters, but we're starting to break into books now. So we just, this summer, we came out with three books. We got Alien Spike, which is like a sci-fi story about a bunch of teenagers going on space adventures. Um, that one's done by my table mate. And then we've got Dimension Noir, which is about a detective who discovers an alternate universe and goes and solves crimes there. That one's done by me. And then also by me, we have Evil for the Win, which is enormous, and it's about a group of super villains and their daily lives. It's a lot more personal when they're like small things like this and the people putting them on care more about it. So you'll see programming that's more geared toward just like everybody having fun at the event. Yeah, I spent a lot of time at libraries when I was a kid because I was kind of a poor kid. So places where you can like read things for free definitely was up my alley. I just read a lot and that's also what got me into writing because like I kind of consider myself a writer first and foremost, so I'm glad that I'm getting into comics now so I can push that to the forefront. Because, yeah, I love books and writing and all that. My name is Von Clote, and I host a popular music podcast from right here in Bradenton, Florida. Right now we're at the Manatee County Library during Manicon. 
and I uh, just got done hosting or judging the cosplay contest. Well, we, we have to embrace them while they're young. We have to encourage the creativity, like the cosplay contest that I just judged, the creativity that these kids express. We have to we have to harness that in them and, and enhance what they're doing. They could be the next Hollywood costume designer for all we know, but they won't know without a little bit of encouragement. Well, when I was young, uh, the only reason I got into reading and what I feel kind of sparked my imagination and creativity when I was a kid was going to the library and just finding new fiction. At first, you know, as a kid, you don't want to read, you're kind of forced into it, but once you get into it and you realize the worlds that it opens up, the library is basically a gateway to anywhere you want to go. I am Nick, I am a Hufflepuff, I am Team Battle for Life, and I am also your host. So, uh, the way this is going to work, we're going to bring up all 42 of these guys, I'm like 42 of them. We're going to bring them all up individually. I'm going to hang over there in the corner because I'm going to give them the stage. They're going to do awesome, cool stuff, embody their characters, and they are going to exit. Alright, first up we have Anthony, who is a Mortoper, or Markiplier. Next on up we have Luna Erickson. She is antiseptic, insane, crazy, creepy, and etc. So we've got three and four coming up here. They're going as a team. We have Devin Olsen and Amber Haynes going as Markiplier and Junkaseptic. Alright, next up we have Jessica Mooney who is coming as we all are, as comic book geeks. This is the super redheads, they are Jessica and Grace. They're coming as Grell and I'm dying. All right, next up we have Patrick. He's coming as R. Uro. Remember the survive corpse from Attack on Titan. All right, next up we have Ray, and she's coming as classic Harley Quinn. Insane, but awesome. All right, next up we have Angie, and she's coming up as Kankanki. Let's give it up for her. All right, next up we have number 11. This is Marissa. We have another awesome Harley Quinn. Circus Suicide Squad. We got Emma coming up here with Lilo and Stitch. All right, next one is for all you video game fans out there. Not quite Link, Link, oh, yeah, Rachel, come on up. All right, next up we have Logan, who is actually coming as Link, the hero of time. The hero of time. All righty, next up we have Sarah, who's coming as Genos, a superhero cyborg. From the anime, One Punch Man. This is Rose and Mai, who are coming as Marissa and Raymu. All right, next up we have Matt, who is coming as Pitt. Sarah, the goddess of light. All right, next up we have Aubrey, who's coming as Mercy. All right, next up we got Kayla, who is dressed as Barry, the newest member of the Tokyo Mew Mew. Alright, next up we've got a team, this is number 20, Kayla and Angel, coming as Masky and Ben Brown. Next up we got number 21, that is Michael, who is also coming as Leek, the hero of time. Alright, next up we've got number 22, that is Kayla, coming as Jacob. Give it up for her. All right, next up we've got number 23. This is Nadine, who's coming as Katori Minami. All right, Riley, number 24. It's coming as Malice. All right, next up we got number 25, Jaden Delta. Coming as the Master Chief. All right, next up we got 26, Jacob Pruitt, who is the Witch King of all right, next up we got number 27, Eleni Morphin, who is Lucy Hartfield. 
All right, next up we've got number 28, Julissa Florenciata, who is coming as Flor uh, Frostla. All right, next up we've got number 29, that is Kevin, the Great Papyrus. Next up we've got a team, it's number 30, this is Melody and James, coming as Dipper and Maple. We've got number 31, this is Trinity and Chloe. They're coming as Doggo and they're seeing I Human. Alright, next up we've got number 32, Kylie, who's coming as Ghostbuster. Yeah. Next up we've got number 33, this is Josephine and Elvis, who are coming as the Joker and Holly Quinn. Number 34, this is Cody Johnson. Next up, number 35 is Shelby, and she is a dragon ninja. All right, next up, we've got number 36, Bianca Core, who's coming as Holly Quinn. All right, next up, we've got a team, number 37, Jackson and Skyler, who are Mabel and Dimmer Vines. All right, next up, we've got number 38, this is Sarah Painter. Who is coming as Todd Harvey as El Chavo? This is Melanie, who is coming as Lucy. People with special powers. All right, next up we got number 40. This is Mark coming in as Metatron. Right, next up we got number 41, this is Allison, who is coming as Cora from Legends of Cora. All right, last but not least, we've got number 42, Fallon, who is coming as Cecil. Give it up for you. Mosey, Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa. 
And that is going to be to Kayla as Jacob. Great job. And again, it's really hard for the judges and everyone to choose. So that's a little extra surprise prize for you, okay? You're welcome. And I would be remiss to tell you that the judges would be very angry if I didn't tell you. They are like pained over these decisions and they want everybody to win. So thank you all. Guys, take a bow. We're going to put some music on. We're going to get a victory lap. We're going to see all of these awesome guys again. And Maestro, if you would, let's watch some tunes. Let's get our victory lap going. Come on, boogie on down.